World Championships 2021. We've got one more bronze medal match to come. It's a really important one for the home country. It's a really important one for both countries, but it's really, really important for the home country. Ukraine v. Egypt for the bronze medal. Having picked up a gold medal in men's saber team, a silver medal and bronze in individual men's epee, they're hungry for one more medal. We'll get our lineup here from Ukraine, Pavel Trofomenko, Nikita Koshman, Daniel Hoda, and in reserve, Dmitro Mikitenko. Starting for Egypt, Ramadan Ibrahim, Mohammed Yassin, Mohammed El Sayed, and Amr Abdel Bakri in reserve for Egypt. Thank you. We'll get our officiating crew up for introduction. Referees for tonight will be Ayad Magrai of Jordan and Amber Siviero Ivano of Switzerland. So, uh, running order for tonight it will be Daniel Hoda to open for Ukraine. Nikita Koshman will close. It will be Mohammed El Sayed to open and close for Egypt. Ukraine started the day against Bulgaria with a 45-25 win and then went on to beat Poland. Uh, but in the semifinals, they lost out to the USA. Egypt started the day against Estonia with a 45-34 win, then beat France. And it was a really tough and uh, very exciting, as all of these Egyptian matches seem to have been. A very exciting 45-44 loss to Russia, but I, I don't expect to see the Egyptians, you know, sometimes when you, you find yourself in the third place match, you kind of go, oh, but I really wanted the gold or the silver, but I can't imagine this Egyptian team coming out with anything other than all guns blazing. It will be up to Ukraine to mitigate that energy. We're underway. Uh, Asayad puts his hand up to retract some of the body wire that was getting in the way. El Sayed is a pommeler. Hoida with a pistol grip. Syed goes for the foot. Well, they both duck at the same time. Well, <laughs> El Sayed flies in with a massive flash. Daniel Hoyda picks up the blade, tries to find the target in one motion, but he can't as El Sayed goes past. Out. This is out. This is out. Out. 
And Ayad McGrahe trying to call the, the athletes into the center of the piste. They seem somewhat resistant, but they do take a little step forward. McGrath pointing out to them that the stripe along the side of the piece is the outer boundary, the outer lateral boundary, and not the edge of the metallic piece. Well, El Sayed trying to build an attack there. Daniel Hoyta sees an opportunity. Gets his first point with the flesh. Al Sayed, lovely hit to the foot. called halt at the core core but in that exchange Mohammed El Sayed was caught very flat-footed oh and Hoyda has taken a shot to a place you don't want to take a shot Big flesh attack, but picked up by Mohammed El Sayed, so a double there. Trademark move of Mohammed El Sayed, where he steps in and then keeps moving forward as he goes into the duck, so he's at his opponent's feet. And just points his blade up and gets the hit. And you've got to be really quick in your response to cut that off. Hoida launches a very big flesh attack. El Said with the duck encounter, but um, he got rolled over in the process. That'll end the first four for Egypt, two for Ukraine. Four for El Sayed, four, two for Hoida. We go into the second. It will be Ibrahim Ramadan for Egypt, facing Nikita Koshman of Ukraine. Again, Ayad Magrai pointing out that the stripe, the gray stripe along the side of the piece is the lateral boundary, not the metallic end of the piece. Here we go. Second leg in this bronze medal match. Going down for the foot. Oh. 
Well done. Start slowly, builds quickly. Going after the flash, Koshman picks it up, double. Koshman, the pommeler for Ukraine. Ibrahim with a beat and attack from perhaps about a half step too far out. Koshman able to pick that up, another double. The question here is the L sides grip legal. Ben taking his pommel outside the guard. Since every weapon and every bit of kit has to go through weapon control, not only when you arrive at the at the event, but before every match, I would say the answer is probably yes. Yes, it is legal. Ibrahim found the blade, got the parry, and just the remise from Koshman. Gives him the hit that takes him, takes Ukraine within one. Koshman blocks out the flesh attack from Ramadan Ibrahim. Really upping the pace here with Ibrahim, Ramadan Ibrahim pinned to the back line. And threw on a big attack there. Twenty-two seconds remaining in the second period, so there is technically time for Ukraine to hit the target score of ten. That'll do it for our second period. But a big one for Ukraine. Seven, six, the score. Five in that for Nikita Koshman. Only two for Ramadan Ibrahim. Pavel Trofimenko will be on for Ukraine to face Mohamed Yassin. And this kid has been fencing his socks off for three straight days. We know that his right ankle has been bothering him throughout, but this is for a bronze medal. And it looks like he's got his game face on. We start the third.
Kamenko, it's a half-hearted attempt at the foot. All right, so uh, Mohamed Yassin crossed that gray line and is set back a meter. And, and the fencers can't say they haven't been holes. Double there. Big flesh attack from Trofimenko. I don't think it's unfair to ask if this really energetic and and single-minded Egyptian team has actually got the energy to carry this off against a Ukraine team that's like a coiled spring here. Trofimenko blocks it. Yassin out. But Yassin, having drawn the attack, comes up with a ducking counter. Lovely there from Pavel Trofimenko. Trofimenko had gone past, long past, and Yassin turned around and chased him down the piste. And he took a shot to the knee, which is about the last thing Mohammed Yassin needs right now in the process. I'm not sure. If there's going to be a card coming out here, but I wouldn't be surprised if there was. There is not. Well, Mohammed Yassin has picked up his game here. But Trofimenko says not so fast. Beautiful blocking counter there from the Ukrainian. Trofimenko is not the only pommeler for the Ukraine team. It's really top-notch fencing from Pavel Trofimenko here in the third. Yassin picks up that flesh attack, gets a single light. He keeps reaching down and holding his knee. And that will end the third. A lot of action there. 11 for Ukraine, 10 for Egypt, four in it for Mohamed Yassin, four in it for Pavel Trofimenko. We go to the fourth. It will be Daniel Hoda 
back on for Ukraine to meet Ramadan Ibrahim, who had kind of a tough go in the second leg against Nikita Koshman. Let's see what he can do here against Tode. Egypt's going to have to get their energy level up as well as their precision and aggression to match this Ukraine team. Oh. That's not being given. And Ramadan Ibrahim asking for a video review. He picked up the blade. He turned him prime. Referee said he, he, he hit something, but he didn't hit Daniel Hoda. Well, he got that one. Able to control that distance really well. Interesting, as Hoyda just, just began his move forward, then Ramadan Ibrahim just jumped and squatted right in front of him, got his arm out. This is a big and important leg here for Egypt. They seem to have rediscovered their mojo here. And more importantly, put the skids on, on what seemed an unstoppable Ukraine offense. come together but Ramadan Ibrahim goes low on that counter it works
double. And that will do it for the fourth, but a big, big outing for Ramadan. Ibrahim, seven in that for him, only two for Daniel Hoyda. And that changes the, the tenor of this match in, in a huge way. Ukraine came out well on the front foot and was just coming after Egypt. And in the first three legs, Egypt didn't respond all that well, but I think the gravity of the situation has become apparent to the Egyptian side. Let's see what Pavel Trofimenko can do to reignite Ukraine's engines. It will be Mohammed El Sayed on for Egypt. And Ayad Magrai of Jordan back up to officiate the next two legs. Big explosive flesh there from Mohammed El Sayed. And that's the second time in a row that Pavel Trofimenko, who was just so active in his first outing, has stepped in and stopped. And Mohammed El Sayed will not let opportunities like that pass. Well, there we go. Trofimenko back to form. That, that was perfect, Mohammed El Sayed. There again, that's the third time in this leg that Pavel Trofimenko has stepped in and stopped. El Sayed just launches himself. Here comes Trofimenko again. And again, Trofimenko stops to set up his flash. And Mohammed Al Sayed has already responded with a brilliant counter. Double. This side comes off to straighten his weapon. Again, again, that ducking counter from Mohammed El Sayed. 
Pavel Trofimenko needs to go back to the drawing board. All right, that was great from Trofimenko because he was stepping in. El Sayed maybe should have waited about another second for Trofimenko to stop. But Trofimenko picked up that attack perfectly. And that one. So I had a little smile on his face going, yeah, I got it. I got it. Weapon checked. It works. That will end the fifth. 25 for Egypt. 18 for Ukraine. Eight in that for Mohamed El Sayed. Five for Pavel Trefomenko and what looked like was going to be a great Ukrainian blue and gold wave washing over Egypt. It's turned back the other way. A seven-point Egypt lead going into the sixth. Mohamed Yassin on for Egypt. Nikita Koshman who looked really sharp in his first outing in the second leg. conversation of the blades there. But it was Mohammed Yassin that actually did something with it. Double. And body language a little less confident here from Nikita Koshman. Lovely there, picking up that attack from Yassin. He steps off to straighten his weapon.
and another. And that one will take us out of the sixth. 30, 23. Five for Mohammed Yassin. Five for Nikita Koshman. Well, I think four, three or four of those were on doubles. We go into the seventh. The first three legs belonged to Ukraine. The middle innings have gone all Egypt. We start the seventh with Ramadan Ibrahim for Egypt, Pavel Trofimenko. If Ukraine's going to make something happen, they need to start getting with it now. Because we have seen it demonstrated that metals have a strong magnetic effect on these Egyptian fencers. wasn't sure what to do or where to go. And Trofimenko said, that's a nice looking foot you have there. Now, Ramadan Ibrahim is having a problem with his ankle, whether it is a roll or he took a knock there. The doctor comes over and says, give me that, give me that cold spray and immediately start spraying it on his calf. <laughs> so basically says that's that's all you're getting. Get back on the piste. Lovely there from Ramadan. Trofimenko asking for a video review, but I'm sitting exactly right in front of them. And Ramadan scored easily before, before he went past. Amber Sevier puts her hand up. Uh, I believe there's a... The referees are pointing out something on the scoreboard. Oh, the clock hasn't started. Or it's stuck. They need to change the batteries. David Blake is going to reset the time correctly as it last read on the video review.
Oh, nice from Trofimenko. Faint to the foot. Straight up into the shoulder. Trofimenko picks up that attack from Ramadan. Can't do anything with it. Deep low line. Simultaneously, nothing there. Oh, Ramadan Ibrahim in over the top. He's looking for 35. He's looking for that magic number to end this leg. for Ramadan, Ibrahim. Trofimenko saw that coming and just put his point there so that when Ramadan Ibrahim arrived, he got a special welcome. Now, Anne goes up here, nothing there. And Number Sevier is going to look at the video. Trofimenko piled in pretty hard there. No infraction. Again, Trofimenko picking up that attack. If Ramadan Ibrahim's front foot is bothering him and he's not able to get the traction or acceleration that he needs, maybe he shouldn't try and do those. Maybe he should just back up, draw the attack, and do that. That will do it. A tense seventh leg. But it is still Egypt up by six. Five in that for Pavel Trofimenko. Four for Ramadan Ibrahim. It will be Daniel Hoida on in the eighth and penultimate leg to face Mohamed Yassin. And despite the six point lead by Egypt, there is nothing given here. There are no foregone conclusions. Ramadan Ibrahim finishes on a level indicator. Trofimenko on a minus two. Getting into non combativity territory here, which is fine with you, Mohammed Yassin. That's just fine with him. There it is.
Well, the referee is just ignoring the fact that non-combativity time clock had passed, which would have given a point to Egypt. Well, Yassine gets it anyway. But I just think it's odd that non-combativity, the non-combativity clock ran out, which would have benefited It should have been a P red for Ukraine. But instead, it is a red card for Yassine, or, or another penalty for Yassine and a point to Ukraine when it should be a, a, a red P, a, a P, a red P1 card, a P card. No, the clock does not carry over between legs. Um, okay. Hoyta in with the attack. Yassine trying a ducking counter there. But he's too far out. Referee pushing them to the middle of the piece. Yassine picking up that attack nicely. is winding down here. And that will do it for the eighth leg. 39 for Egypt. 33 for Ukraine. Five in that for Mohammed Yassin. Five for Daniel Hoda. We go to the ninth and final leg in this bronze medal match. Nikita Koshman on to close for Ukraine. Mohammed Al Sayed for Egypt. And if you weren't paying attention or you didn't notice, during the eighth leg, we reached one minute without a hit. The light came on, indicating 
a non-combativity penalty. It was not called by the referee, which had a material effect on the score because had it been called, Ukraine would have been penalized point. So I, I, I guess that the referees have the, have the discretion to make the call when and if they want. It doesn't matter now. This is a battle for the bronze medal. But Egypt has to earn it. And as I am sat not four meters away from the scoreboard, right in front of it, I saw the purple light come on. I saw it happen. So it was later in the match, it went to 50 seconds. Video review here. All right, call stands. I had lovely counter. Egypt now three away from the bronze medal. time that perfectly. Lovely from Mohammed El Sayed. One to go. And that will do it. Egypt with the bronze medal, 45-37 over Ukraine. Right now, Egypt sits in fifth place with one gold in the medal standings, one gold, one silver, two bronze, and that will be three bronze medals and we'll see how that affects the medal standings at the end. Nothing will affect the fact that Russia is in an insurmountable position. 
And as we saw on Monday night, the Egyptians expressing their appreciation for their win. Congratulations to them. Our two bronze medals are sorted now. For Ukraine, it is fourth place, but their junior team looks very, very strong. Clearly a lot of talent there. All right. Our, we had quite a gap between our first and second bronze medal match. I'm going to try and find out what the schedule is going to be here going forward. So we'll take a short break and get ready for our first gold medal match coming up.